Euzu billahi mineşşeytanirracim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I seek refuge in God from Satan the accursed, in the name of God the beneficent, the merciful. Belki az ibtikharat bashariyat dar tul tarikh bar khurd peygamber Islam sallallahu alayhi wa alihi has. One of the great things that Islam can take pride in, one of the great things that the entire humanity in the entire history can take pride in, is how the Holy Prophet of Islam behaved in the story of Hatab ibn Abi Balta'a, and that lady singer who was Sara. If one day, which hopefully comes soon, some young believers make a very good movie of this story, this story is a very reliable story which you can find in Bihar al-Anwar, in the interpretations of the Holy Quran, in the history books by other schools of Islam, and also in the books of Hadith. This will be a very informative movie which will move the hearts of millions of people around the world, and also it would be a great step towards preaching the true Islam on a global scale. Hatab was a pagan in the Holy Mecca who followed the Holy Prophet of Islam during his migration to Holy Medina and converted to Islam. He was like other Muslims living in Holy Medina. Those Muslims who had traveled and migrated to Holy Medina, they still had some relatives in Holy Mecca, and their relatives were usually pagans. Hatab also had his own relatives in Holy Mecca, and he was in contact with them, sending and receiving some letters. There was a lady in Mecca who was a singer and she was a pagan also. The pagans, the chief pagans in Holy Mecca, asked the relatives of Hatab to request Hatab in one of those letters they sent to Hatab to tell them about the military secrets of the Holy Prophet of Islam. This story happened after tens of wars were imposed by pagans on the Holy Prophet of Islam and the Muslims were the victors, and so the pagans had stopped assembling armies and fighting Islam. Muslims were, had defeated the pagans in so many wars that pagans had lost hope to fight. So they were expecting an eminent attack from the Holy Prophet. So this singer, this pagan singer, who was a lady and named Sara, was given the mission to carry a letter from the relatives of Hatab and tell, ask Hatab to tell them about the future plans, military plans of the Holy Prophet of Islam. This lady entered Holy Medina and delivered the letter to Hatab. And Hatab wrote a response to the people of Mecca 
The answer is very brief and you can find the answer in some books of interpretation and in history books. He only wrote to the people of Mecca that the Holy Prophet intends to assemble an army and come to Holy Mecca, so beware. This letter was given to this singer lady and she was supposed to carry the letter to the Holy Mecca. However, the Holy Prophet knew about all of this. On her way back to Holy Mecca, she confronted and met with the Holy Prophet of Islam. The Prophet asked her, are you here in Holy Medina to express your belief in Islam? Are you here to live here with the Muslims? But the answer by the lady was no. So the Holy Prophet asked her about the real reason behind her trip to Holy Medina. And she said that she is poor and no one is helping her. So the Holy Prophet ordered Muslims to give her some money, some clothes, and also a means of transportation, an animal that can carry her back to Holy Mecca. Hatab had already told this woman not to use busy roads, not to take busy roads back to Me Mecca because it was probable that Muslims would follow her and capture her. So she took a detour back to Holy Mecca. According to some historians, Hatab had already given that lady 10 gold coins which was a big money at the time. After a while, the Holy Prophet ordered Imam Ali peace be upon him to gather some other companions, one of them was Zubay, to follow this lady using the detour that she was taking and bring back the letter. Imam Ali and those other companions followed the lady and using the addresses given by the Holy Prophet of Islam and finally they found that lady and told her to give back the letter that was given to her by Hatab. She denied having the letter. So Imam Ali asked her to get off the horse. And they searched all the belongings of that lady, but they could not find the letter. They wanted to return, but Imam Ali insisted that the Holy Prophet is not mistaken. She certainly has a letter with her. So Imam Ali lashed out at that lady and finally the Imam could find the letter from the braids of the hair of that woman. So they took the letter and returned. They found a spy, an enemy spy and a Muslim spy. What is done today in our world to spies? Usually it is the sentence of execution. 
Even some scholars have suggested that they should have been executed. It's so nonsense because the Holy Prophet is a role model to be followed, not the other way around. So whatever the Holy Prophet says and does is the absolute embodiment of Islam. And he himself has told us to follow the path of the Holy Ahlul Bayt and the Quran. On that time and even in today's norms, the Holy Prophet had every authority to execute both of those spies. After all, it is what is done to spies even in our modern world. And as a result of the Prophet's forgiveness of the two spies, the scholars have concluded that Muslim spies should not be executed. Sheikh Tusi has also said that a Muslim spy cannot be executed even during a time of war. This story happened before the conquest of Holy Mecca. This is a great honor for the Muslims. Nowhere in history we can find a similar story that happens between two parties which are at war. The Holy Prophet did not kill, nor torture, nor imprison, nor confisc confiscate the properties of Hatab. The world should know that three things are the basic principles of Islam. This very story is rather unknown to many Muslims around the world. And it is the job of everyone to make these great pieces of virtue and morality known to the entire world. I hope that Almighty God gives us the honor, especially the youths, to learn about these shining parts of the history of Islam and also convey these lessons to other people so that in the future we don't come across the same struggles that we are struggling now with. The struggles like the economic, the political, and the issues like poverty and political strifes. So the three principles of Islam are the Holy Quran, the Holy Prophet of Islam, and the Holy Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them. May God bless Muhammad and his pure household.